Happy dance. And I get scared easily. So we're gonna keep it light. We're gonna keep it flirty. And I'm going to flirt with every single person who talks to me. This is choices. It lives in the woods. We don't know what it is, but hopefully it's something cute. We're gonna be cutie. We're ready to get in, in this creaky, disgusting basement. Oh, I'm sleeping, okay. Oh, what? Oh, where's my phone? Who's texting me this early in the morning? Oh, it's Dan. Hey, are you there? It's Dan. I messed up, I'm so sorry. Dan? It's been a while since I heard from you. Are you crawling back already? What happened? I went back into the woods. I had to be sure. I had to prove to myself that it was all in my head. But it isn't, cutie. It's all real. He's real. Dan, have you been like, you know, sucking back grandpa's old cough medicine or what have you been doing? I heard him whispering, just like when we were kids. <laughs> Stop it, Dan. We made all that stuff up. I just said that so I could cuddle up with you. Mr. Red was just a dumb kids game that got out of control. He doesn't exist. He never did. He does. What are you gonna do about it? He's here with me now. Ew, okay. Where are you? I can hear him in the trees. I hear him whispering. Ah, okay, somebody just tapped at my window. Hello? A dark shape looms outside the window. Heart hammering in your chest, you fumble for the light switch. Oh, look at my cute little lights. I love my little setup. Dan, what are you doing here? Cutie, can I come in? If you keep calling me that, sure. I guess so. I'm, uh, hang on, let me get some clothes on. Yeah. All right, come on in. You've got some explaining to do though. Either how'd you get into my window or what are you doing here? I mean, Dan's kind of cute. How'd you get in here? Huh? We're definitely on the second floor right now. Did you climb? I climbed. That's what I thought. Okay, Spider-Man. You sounded really freaked out in your texts. Are you okay? It's nothing. I'm fine. You just told me that you weren't fine. Is this like some ruse to get into my pajamas? <laughs> Come on. We need to go get the others. What others? Our friends. Stacy, Lily, Noel, Lucas, Ava, Andy, Carson, Darson, Logan, Morgan. I've got something to show you, but we need to bring everyone. Everyone! Dan, I've barely spoken to any of that group since we were little kids. After what happened to Jane? I don't want to think about it. I'm on that flirting life now. But they have to come, cutie. Everyone has to be there. That's the rule. Oh my goodness, my phone is buzzing again. Dan, I want to help you, but honestly, you're kind of freaking me out right now. Like, can we maybe, like, watch a movie or something? We've got our first day of school in, like, six hours, and I have to look cute tomorrow. Can we talk then? My phone is buzzing again! Wait, it's 3 a.m. now? Ooh, I don't like that time. Are you still there? I think I'm lost. Dan? What are you- Cutie, my battery's almost dead. Please help me. What do you mean? Wait. Wait, this isn't Dan! We have to go back to the woods. I'm not going to the woods with you! I mean, I was thinking about it, but like, come on! The lights in your bedroom flicker! Okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna- Okay, I'm gonna look up from my phone screen and try to take in what's going on here. Dan? Dan, how are you texting me in here at the same time? Something is wrong. A smile spreads across Dan's face, stretching wider than it should! Ah! Cutie. Ow! Oh, he grabs my wrist! Get away from me, you freak! Oh my god, I hate him. Hey! Oh, I should scream for help? No, I should punch him. Hey, get out of here! What pam Hasn't been my first time punching someone in the face. He barely flinches! What the? Dan? He throws me on the floor! Ow! Pinning my back against the rough boards? Ouch. We all have to go back. Don't you remember? Get off of me! You claw at Dan. Ha! and his flesh crumbles beneath your fingernails. Ew. Uh. Dan leans in his cold breath, stinking of moldy dirt. <coughs> what is this, a man of the forest? Everyone plays together, cutie. Oh, yikes. Oh, yes! He's turning into the dirt! There's rocks in his face! I certainly hope that's your Halloween costume, because that is, that's, a, I mean, that's a good one. Holy, get me out of here. Okay, that was a mess, huh? It lives in the woods. <laughs> well, obviously, but then it comes to my house. Just trying to live a flirty life. Now I can get what I desire. <gasps> oh my goodness, it was a dream. What a messed up dream. What the, oh no. I've lost some nerve, I'm barely coping. I'm really anxious right now. I need to find some ways to calm down and I think I know how to do it. Wait, let's see if the texts are still there. Battery's dead. Crap. Well, I guess I better get ready for school. I need to look good. Like, really good. Ugh. Okay, we're not wearing that, girl. No. No! I don't know. It's a little mature for me. This is cute. Like, this is something I would wear to school. The old bomber. Cute shirt. Necklaces. Okay, this is it. Rock and roll high school. Ugh. Okay, whatever. It looks cute, though. I like it. Grabbing your school bag, you hurry down the stairs. Outside, you cast a nervous glance towards the woods. Oh, great. We would live in the woods. Thanks, Mom. Ew. That shed. 
Wonder what goes on in that shed after dark. Wonder if Dan slept there last night. Ugh, Mr. Red. Dan couldn't have seen him. That was all just make-believe. It was a dream, right? Hey! Morning, neighbor! Oh. Hey, Sid. What's up? Just coming back from our walk. Hey, Hilda, look who it is! <laughs> Woof! Oh, Hilda, cute. Hilda bounds over to you. Oh, you're a cute little dog. Aren't you a good dog? Hi, girl. Oh, the dog cheered me up and I'm less anxious now. That's good. Ow! Yeah, you're cute. Don't be howling at the creatures in the forest, please. I'm just trying to live my life. It's good to see you, though, cutie. Your parents around? I didn't see them out and about this morning. Yeah, they're still overseas, dealing with my great aunt's estate or whatever. They'll be back in a couple weeks, so I'm home alone and you know what that means heck that's a long time for a kid to be by themselves especially in a big house like that excuse me i'm 18 leave me alone the nightly ragers keep me occupied <laughs> you know as someone who's been through college i feel obligated to tell you that keg stands are a lot less fun than they sound yeah okay well thanks okay so sid found something a rock maybe this rock will keep me safe weird Maybe I'll like take it to school or something. This rock smells like that- ugh, it smells like that guy that was in my room last night! You stop staring at yourself, glancing nervously at Sid. It smells like what? Weird, it just kind of smells weird. It's just weird. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, well I'll let you get to school. You just let me know if you need anything, alright? My door's always open. Thanks Sid, I'll be coming there screaming tonight. Ew, okay, I'm putting my rock in this disgusting shed. Because I love walking through cobwebs. Alright, now I'm walking to school. <laughs> mm, there's a guy driving a black vintage Camaro. Hey. Ooh, this guy looks familiar. Ooh, the car stops and the driver leans out the open window. Hey, do I know you from somewhere? Hi. I mean, you're not really my style, but I'd sure like to get to know you better. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say no to that, though it looks like you're on your way to somewhere at the moment. Yeah. He looks at my school bag. Westchester High? Yeah, I'm a senior. Almost free of that old heck hole, huh? Congrats. Thanks. I'll, uh, see you around? Probably will. It's a small town. All right, well, he drives away. That was cute. Hey, I never got your number! Oh no, he's already too far away. Oh well, I'm gonna keep walking to school. Okay, there's a familiar girl standing at the locker next to mine. Hello? Oh, hey, Ava. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Not much. That hasn't always been your locker, has it? I've never seen you using it before. I got reassigned. <laughs> she kicks the locker shut and shrugs her bag onto her shoulder. <laughs> oh look, it's Lily. <laughs> oh, hi Lily. Are you the girl that's gonna get eaten in the forest? If this is anything like Stranger Things? Um, hi guys. Hi Lily. It's been a while. How was your summer? It was good. I just got back from doing coding camp in Portland and one of the other girls invited me to collaborate on a game she's working on, so that's pretty cool. It's going for me. That's awesome. Let me know if you ever need a playtester. Lily glances around, lowering her voice. <laughs> There's uh, something actually that I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> sure, what's up? I got some really weird texts last night, did you? Oh girl! I got them too! You turn to see a pretty girl walking by chatting with two friends. Oh no. I smell a jerk coming. Oh my god, look. I've been ghosting this guy for two solid weeks and he asked me out for coffee again. What a pathetic loser. Ooh boy, just when you think high school may not be the sucking necrotic chest wound that you remember. <laughs> Yikes. Desperate is not a good look. I'm Cody. And I'm Jocelyn. Maybe he's just not scared of ghosts. You could try clowns instead. Clowns are gross. That's not- Joss, do you even know what I'm talking about? Hi, Brittany. The group stops in their tracks and Brittany turns to give Lily an appraising look. Wow, Lil, great sweater. Jokes, I don't mean it. Oh, I just wanted to say hello. <laughs> and I want a red Ferrari for my birthday, but I'll settle for not having to listen to your whiny voice anymore. Oh no. Oh, my friends have nerves too. I have to take care of my friends. I should tell Brittany off or act like Brittany isn't there. I'm telling her off. Duh. Right, because basing your fashion sense on whatever the wannabe models on pictogram are wearing is way cooler. Newsflash, cutie, no one asked you. If no one asked, then why are you answering, huh? Didn't hear anyone asking for your opinion either. How about you take your unsolicited fashion advice to someone who cares? You so do not want to make me mad, cutie. Ooh, I'm shaking. Ooh. Lily looks down at the floor, hiding a small smile. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Lily, love you. You know, I keep meaning to try out this new curse I found on the internet. If you feel a burning sensation in your eyeballs, that's normal. What are you talking about? <laughs> You'll find out. Okay, Ava, I love you. You crazy. You're nuts. Later, guys. Later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when can I start flirting? But bye, bye, Ava. Well, lovely as this has been, uh, we should probably go. Oh my goodness. Is that a hickey on you, cutie? Well, Huh? 
Ow! Get off! Ow, it hurts! Yeah, right, like I didn't even want to chew on this social reject. For your information- Oh no! Okay, you know what? I got it from your mom. Huh? I thought Cody's mom was in Aspen this week. You should watch what you say, cutie. That mouth of yours tends to get you in trouble. Yeah, I want to get in trouble. That's what we're here for. Whatever. Fascinating as this combo is, I need to go get ready for the pep rally. I'm a cheerleader, if you haven't noticed. Okay, bye, Brittany. Ow. Hey. See you around, cutie. This year's already off to a great start, huh? Should we report them to the principal's office? Sure, million times the charm, right? Maybe this time they'll actually get in trouble. Yeah, right. Lily smiles as you guys join the crowd of students shuffling towards the gym. Cutie, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, just kind of crowded in here. Do you see anywhere to sit? Not really. Um, looks like there's a couple seats up there next to, uh... Oh, never mind, that's Ava's spot. Oh no, where are we gonna sit? In the top row of the bleachers, Ava sits scribbling in a worn sketchbook. Oh, and some people try to sit beside her and she's like <laughs> The freshmen trip over themselves, scrambling to get away from Ava. She glares at them. <laughs> Ava nods to the empty bench. <laughs> Wait, is she inviting me to sit by her? I, I think, I think she is. Maybe I could talk with Ava about what happened last night. She knows all kinds of supernatural stuff. It'd be nice to tell someone who'd actually believe me. I'm so sitting with Ava. Love you, Ava. Hi. How are you doing? Can I flirt with you? Um, you, uh, you go ahead. Ava kind of scares me a little. Who are you gonna sit with then, Lily? You sure? Yeah, I think I see a spot next to Mr. Cooper. Oh, she sits next to the teacher. Oh, and thanks for your help earlier, cute. Anytime. See you later, Lily. I'm gonna go sit by Ava. Yeah. Hey, is anyone sitting here? Oh, just my ghost friend. He's pretty incorporeal, so he doesn't really count. What? <laughs> uh, sorry, I just can't tell if you're messing with me. It's all part of my mystique. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna sit on the ghost. Bold move, sitting in someone's lap before you're even introduced. Yeah, maybe the ghost and I can grab coffee later. So, are you gonna tell me why you're so freaked out, or are you having fun disremembering that poor bench? Huh? What? I, I do want to talk about it, it's just kind of a weird story. Cutie? Look at me! Weird is my middle name. Really? Well, no, it's Dolores, but if you tell that to anyone, I will go to your house and hide eyeballs in your food. Uh, where would you even get- Next time you get a poor bowl of cereal, bloop, bloop, eyeballs! Noted. I won't tell anyone. So, what would you say if I told you that last night I saw some kind of, like, monster? Depends. Uh, what did this monster look like? Well, he looked like Dan, at least at first. Ooh, plot twist. Keep going. Once I figured out it wasn't actually Dan, uh, it attacked me, so... Then its face kind of melted off and underneath the skin was kind of, like, dirt and, uh, like, I don't know... A golem. A, a golem? I mean, I've heard of those. They're like a humanoid creature made of clay and dirt, right? That's the one. <laughs> Sounds like it fits the bill, doesn't it? I guess, but the weirdest thing is that I woke up the next morning and it was gone. Why would it just attack me and leave? And now everybody thinks I have a hickey. Full disclosure, my knowledge of golems is like 60% Wikipedia and 40% this dude named Magic Stan 75 who I met on a warlock forum. So maybe whatever power that animated the golem is temporary, or maybe it was all a dream. But my neck, definitely not a dream. Dreams don't leave bruises. They can, actually. There are beings who can enter or even affect your dreams. One of those could possibly use your dreams to hurt you. You could also be under a curse or something. I've read a lot about cursed dreams. What, just for fun? That's your reading fun? Sure. Let's go with that. Ava? Oh, there's a flirting option. I think I'm kind of in love with you. Girl, let's, okay, let's forget about the fact that I was attacked last night. And let's talk about how I love you. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm pretty amazing. And humble, too. <laughs> Thanks, Ava. I really needed to talk to someone, but I didn't think anyone would believe me. Hmm, jury's still out on me believing you. You could be making all this up to screw with me. Do people do that to you? They try, but my kung fu is strong. Well, then thanks for listening without immediately dismissing me. It helps a lot. Oh, we love each other. Cool. Glad to help. Anyway, I think I'm done now. Done now? Done with what? Being nice. See, I've got this whole bitter misanthrope thing going on. If people see us being all friendly, they might think it's okay to talk to me. We, we don't want that. Can't have that. I would literally die. Hey, cutie. Yeah? You're not as big of a tool as most people. Okay, coming from you, that, you know, that means a lot. Yes, it does. <laughs> all right, I'm walking down the bleachers, looking for any place I can squeeze in. Ooh, there's an empty seat right there. Noah, hi. Can I hit on Noah? <laughs> Ah, crap. All right, I'm gonna try to find another spot, actually. Oh, but I don't think there's anywhere here. Hey, cutie, sit your stupid butt down unless you want to watch from the garbage can. I- Hello, you're blocking our view and there's a spot right there. Sit down. 
Well, okay, I'm gonna sit next to Noah and I'm still flirting with him if I get the chance. Hey, Noah, do you mind if- Knock yourself out. Oh, he scoots over for me. So, um, what's been up with you? We haven't really talked since, uh- Yeah, I know. Well, we're sitting in silence. And hey, the pep rally's starting. How you doing, Westchester? Oh, yeah, yeah. When did Lucas get so hot? When did Lucas get so hot? Yeah, yeah, everyone loves the tall guy with cool hair. Oh, I said that to his face? Lucas waves to the cheering crowd, flashing a smile. Welcome back, everyone! For anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Lucas Thomas, your student body president. Everyone loves me, everyone thinks I'm cool, I wear glasses, and I'm the best. I know everyone's a little salty that summer is over, but trust me, this is going to be one school year you'll never, ever, ever forget. Let's kick this pep rally off, let's go. Bring in the wolves, bring in the cheerleaders, bring them all in, yeah! You can do better than that! I'm a cheerleader, ooh-ooh! Okay, it looks like Stacy's doing pretty well too. One by one, the cheerleaders tumble across the gym. Whoa, those flips though, that's actually incredible. Yay, go team! Wait, what's Brittany mad about? What's Stacy mad about? Oh no. Stacy suddenly trips over her own feet, sprawling on her face. She ruined the pep rally. Ow! Stacy! Well, I I'm getting up. I'm hurrying to help Stacy. Are you okay? What happened? Nothing. I'm just a klutz, I guess. Ooh, I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> Everyone. Like a clumsy anime hero. Everyone loves them, right? Well, right now I feel like an embarrassment to the squad. Ha ha ha! Did you see that? She was all like, wham! Shut up, Jocelyn. Nobody asked. Please tell me that the school news nerds got that on camera. I mean, if they didn't, you certainly would. No talent. Check this out. A boom ba dom 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 She does some crazy flies, some crazy cartwheels. The crowd screams real loud. Ugh, why do people like her so much? They've gotta know how horrible she is. And she's hot and she can do flips. We can't compete with that. Lucas grins from the podium as the cheerleaders return to their seats. Well, now that the cheer squad is done totally blowing our minds, let's give it up for the Wolves, the basketball team. I'm Ben, a woohoo. I'm Andy, yeah. Hmm. And he actually made the team this year. Good for him. Looks like he's been... <laughs> I can say working hard or working out. Looks like he's been, um... Working out. Look at those arms, dang. You flinch as Cody's voice breaks through the general applause. Watch out, it's the triple threat! Andy's head snaps in the direction of Cody's voice, with his face suddenly twisting with anger. Hey, why don't you come down here and- Uh-oh, these two boys are fighting. He takes one step towards the bleachers, but stops himself as Lucas calls the team captain up to the podium. Uh, okay, ignore that stupid fight, nobody cares, nobody even knows what happened. Thanks, Lucas! What's up, Westchester High? Yeah! Oh, stop! We've got our first game coming in a couple days, and, you know, we're one of those schools who cares about that kind of thing, so you better cheer us on, and, uh, I'm pretty cute too, and hopefully cutie slips in. And you know I will. Wait, did the lights just- As Ben pauses, the gym lights suddenly flicker. Huh? Oh no, no, the lights flickered before- before this scary man came to my- my room! Lucas's voice calls out over the speakers, drowning out the nervous chatter of the students. Everyone, stay seated! We don't want anyone to fall from the- <laughs> A burst of static cuts him off. The music stutters, fading in and out with a loud bang. The gym doors are blown open by a frigid gust of wind. Uh-oh, the forest is coming in. The lights flicker back on and you nearly jump out of your seat as Noah grabs your arm. Hi, Noah. Are we dating now? Shut up. Do you hear that? Hear what? Shh, listen to it. And you do hear it. Just barely on the edge of your perception, you hear a sound that snatches all the breath from your body and leaves you cold. No. Not here. It's all happening again! You look around, picking up the faces of your former friends. What the? This can't be! Everyone's losing their nerves. No way! Oh my gosh. Oh! The music sputters and dies as the light shuts off, completely leaving only the voice. A voice that is at once completely alien and horribly familiar. Everyone plays together. Okay, that's the end of chapter one. I mean, I did as much flirting as I could. Couldn't really go too far with it, but let me know what you guys think of choices. Since I've been enjoying episode, I was like, maybe I should try choices too and like see, try something different, see if you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.